today on The Real. Toss a ring, hook a heel, win a prize. We're putting our heels to work in our first ever heel toss. Plus, we are gonna show you how to take five pounds off your face. The trick is that'll take five pounds off your face. You must be prepared, darling, to go what? On The Real. Today is the day, and guess what today means? What does what? it mean? What does it mean? It is girl chat time! Yeah. Yes! <laughs> now, first up, I want to give an uber, uber big thank you to all of my girls here for coming and supporting me on my first dance, Monday night. I get to the stars. It really, honest to God, girls, my friends entire world to me, especially because my sisters really couldn't be there. Yeah. You guys really did feel those big ten and a half. You were phenomenal. Uh, I thought you were amazing. Your lines, yeah. oh my gosh. And that isn't that part. like the hardest, that's like the, one of the hardest dances. Yeah, and the you had, snap is the hardest. It is, but you, you, you killed it. How did you feel yeah. though, seriously? Um, I felt amazing. You know, I'm always gonna be hard on myself because you know, the, the only reason why I signed up to do this is because I wanted to challenge myself. Mm -hmm. and okay. I do think it's life outside of twerking at times. True. <laughs> There so is? Yeah, yeah. Oh. So in those few times, Adrian, in our lives, we must be prepared, darling. <laughs> what? So therefore, I just wanted to you know, learn how to dance like a grown-up. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. And girl, well, you, you know look what? so Beautiful. effortless, so graceful. Thank yeah. you. The faces you were making, and along with that, girl, you're back. Yes, Did you're anybody back. see Tamar's back? Yeah. You scored a 10 to us, and yeah. every time you will be on there, you are going to score a 10. Yeah. And that's just how we feel. Yeah. Now, granted. I feel amazing, though. Thank you. Somebody. We were, okay. Well, I was a 10 to y'all three. But no. <laughs> we got to no. explain. And for those that didn't see the show. Oh, my God. We were so excited. We brought signs to support our sister. And we see, had numbers 10s. Right. And somebody forgot <laughs> how no. to put their number 10 no. on the right. Guys, honestly, Carl. wait, we literally, okay, first of all, you guys, first of all, let's be honest, Jeannie's actually had the idea right. to do the 10s yes. on our hands. It was her idea. And then these, she okay. said, these no, things no, no, happened no. to her. It, First of all, I it's saw real what wrong for you to bring these out here because this is a little bit of trauma for me right no. now. Okay. Are you yeah, having post traumatic no. stress? Oh my God, you wasn't sitting explain, there. No, but I saw this, it. Okay. Let me tell you, when I saw it, I chuckled. I was like, "Oh, Jeannie, it's so Jeannie." <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, we're gonna talk about this on the show. If I'm going down, <laughs> everybody is going down. This is what happened. What well, happened? Hey, hey. She's not lying. Okay, first of all, when I saw, when I, I, I had no idea, we put up our tens, because you're excited, and I couldn't believe your performance. I really was like, get the tens on, oh my God. We're like yeah. trying to and put then, them on at the end. And when you yeah. put them on, you put, okay, one, zero. I put a one, zero. Okay, does it, wait, is that, is that right? Okay, not sure, right? So I turn around behind me. See the two people behind us? You see this guy right here? That is Ray. That's Ray. And Tamar's that's hairstylist. That's Tanya. So I go, Ray, am I cool? Are we good? And oh. he goes, you're good to go. Boom, live television. <laughs> eh, eh, eh. Tamar, Tamar. She, and she was so definite Look at it. Look at it. She was like, yeah. But Jeannie, Jeannie, okay, Jeannie, 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 I'm not be like. Jeannie, so, I will have to say, so wait, though. I, wait, let me finish. So I'm rocking it, right? <laughs> you, you sit down. This is how crazy and scary social media is. Within moments, I hear tweet, 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 tweet. 
Jeannie, you got your zero and your one backwards. Jeannie, you can't even do your math. Jeannie threw you, shade at Tamar. You Jeannie's tried. an Asian and she don't know her numbers. Oh. So while I'm dying, Lonnie's laughing. My phone I turned off because I thought I'm, I'm moving. I'm going to move back to Vietnam. I really was like, I'm not living here anymore. It's oh over. God. Then Adrian's like, no, the worst. Are you ready? Maria Menounos. Yes. Yeah. I'm throwing this out. Yeah. You. Hi, Maria. She, Maria comes over and she goes, guys, I love you. You're so funny. And I'm like, oh, thank you for the real. Thank you for the show. That 10 backwards, I'm tweeting it. That was hilarious. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, oh. What? Dying when Maria Menounos yeah. comes and says that, I was like, you okay. know what? The thing, the person that saved her because she was really feeling bad, yes. Tamar. Y'all, oh, y'all should have felt bad. I wasn't bad. feeling bad. I didn't see it. Y'all should have no. came prepared. That's, I'm sorry. I no. didn't see it. That's no. Mar- I'm it. gonna. I'm telling you the truth. I was waiting to see what you was gonna do because I wasn't oh fucking there. Oh my god. Even being honest, you know exactly. And thank I, you. I knew. I, I had knew faith you were gonna do it, but I was like, just in case, I ain't putting up nothing. So you guys, as I'm dying. This one here. No, seriously, not this one. This one turns around, she goes, I got you, girl. A little face tune, a little Photoshop. A little patch. Boom, she gave exactly the score that I wanted to give Miss Tamar Braxton, my 11. Ah! Boom. Boom. So we fixed it. Yeah. You killed it. Let me tell you the whole but, gesture. Wait. I'm just joking. No, but the best part, there, But I'm just joking, right? That was, that was one of the sweetest gestures I've ever seen. Thank and you, girls. I when I was driving like home, you called me out of nowhere and you were like, Jeannie, not anything else. I was like, yeah. She's like, thank you for supporting me. That meant so much for you to come out. Yeah. I love it. Her. Was, it meant everything. Well, you didn't call me. What you yeah. Yeah, I was up there too. <laughs> what the It meant everything because you get scared, oh. you know? Oh, thank you. I love it. Very sweet, Jeannie. Thank, thank you, babe. Well, okay, so we got that out the way. Yes, we do. <laughs> What's your next dance? Yes, well, this week I am doing um, the salsa. A little cha cha cha. She likes the cha cha. I'm and, so excited. About um, the Charleston. Oh, what? Yes. That's I'm going to be really Charleston. excited about that. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, a little twist yeah. with the leg, yeah. a little bit. I don't know how to do it. I seen my parents though when I was growing up. Yeah. Oh, really? okay, yeah. So, okay, so, can Tamar... we talk about one person though, other than you? Oh Lord. Who? Lonnie. We gotta bring this Who? up. Oh my what? God. Gary Busey. Oh, look at him. Look at him. You can't have a ball with. I enjoy Gary. Gary is hilarious. Get it, Gary. I mean, Gary is so funny. Yes. You guys didn't see this off camera afterwards. You know, they take a few audience shots where you applaud, and he, you guys just had to stand up there, right? Gary is over there screaming in a corner like this. Ready? Action! <laughs> and doing these great, we were dying yeah. Was he serious when Very. he was doing that? Yeah, he was not really sure. Scared. Is it only me, but he slightly scares me. No, 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 no. No, no, no. First of all, he's 71 years old. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So he get a little bit of a pass. Because, man, the way hilarious. he looks at you, and the best part is, Gary is having a good time. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's yeah. all I'm worried about you, Gary. He's all that bad. You're having Shut a great time. Yeah. <laughs> now, there were some people that didn't dance all that well, because uh, I was there, and I saw it, so we... <laughs> oh, my gosh. Who? Oh, I know exactly what you okay. okay. I don't know if people know it, but okay? I actually think uh, there was... I just was... don't want to be a part of that conversation. Cause, what? Uh-uh, my name Bennett, and I ain't in it. And no, you my know name Paul, and that's between yeah. y'all. Tamar, I have a question yes. for yes, you. Yes, darling, yes. 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 <laughs> Who do you think is your biggest competition? Um, I think myself. I love that answer. Yeah. 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 Like, I promise you, yeah. I have straight tunnel vision. You ain't compete with nobody. Next up, I got <laughs> something else I really want to talk about y'all to hit the news yesterday. It looks like the Terminator done Trump Donald. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, y'all. I'm talking about the announcement <laughs> this week that Arnold Schwarzenegger, 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 okay, Schwarzenegger. is replacing Donald Trump as the host of Celebrity Apprentice. Okay. Well, let's we hope think about that. So, what do we ladies think about uh, um, Donald's replacement? I just want to hear him say, "You're terminated." Yeah. Oh, oh my but God. Is he gonna say that, or is he gonna say, "You're fired"? fired. No, well, I, I don't think. Know. I think do. Donald Trump might own that you're fired thing, the way he says oh, it. Oh, so he has to say, you're terminated. That would be amazing. I'm not going to lie. That's kind of funny. Say it one more time. Funny. Say it one more You're terminated. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty darn good funny, friend. I love The Terminator. I'm just saying, did you watch that? The Terminator? The movie. Like in the 80s? Yes. I don't really remember. No? <laughs> Am I, I the only one that... Come I on, y'all. Y'all don't know the We remember the Terminator, but I know America also has, you know, a, a sense of loyalty for people who are doing good things. And with Arnold's recent goings and his yes. things with his marriage, do you think that America is going to overlook you that? Yeah, say it. 
I wonder if America will consider that as he is hosting a show that has nothing to do with that. No, everybody I don't know kitties hanging around somewhere. But I'm yeah, just saying that, I, you know, like for me, I, I remember him fair. being the governor more than anything else. Mm -hmm. Really? Amazing yeah, absolutely. I like, remember him being the governor that got his housekeeper pregnant. That's no. Oh, you see, you see, he was never uh, my is governor. Is this the real? What? Is this the real? I remember. We, yeah, I'm yeah, the Terminator. True. Yeah. As That's the Terminator. As a governor, I remember he went, he trans, he, you know, transitioned into being into politics as a governor. Yes. But like, I wouldn't hold any of that against him if he's really good on The Apprentice. And I was gonna say, should we hold things no. against people? That's because not really fair because people make mistakes, Lonnie. Exactly. Yeah. No. Lonnie just want to throw shade. Go ahead, get no, another joke. Why? Say it again. Say it again. What did Arnold do? <laughs> Go. He got his house peep. He got his housekeeper yes. knocked up. Okay. <laughs> But and he was running around in the house. So how could you not tell? That little boy looked just like his other son. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, my God. I that enjoy is true. That is true. Uh, just messy right okay. now. Can we talk about something else? Yes, yes we like, can. Okay. Yes. It, what who happened? else would you hire if you didn't want to hire That's a great question. That's a good question. Who else could be? If, I uh, think Gary B Busey. <laughs> Wasn't Gary Busey on The Apprentice? Yes, he was, he was on there. It. He was quite entertaining. Yeah. Too. What about like if Oprah wasn't available? What if it would oh, be like Oprah the woman who great. invented Spanx? No. No. I would relate well so with now. the woman who okay. came up with an idea because a lot of women out there have amazing genius ideas, and then they have to take the journey to actually go and patent it and bring it to fruition. And uh -huh. the woman who invented Spanx, people, something we don't all know of us have her. in our closet. We don't I'm know her. Her. No shame. Like, Magic Johnson would be good. Magic, Magic Johnson good. would be great. I think you someone that does know. great stuff for philanthropy, because that for philanthropy, because that's how you say that. that <laughs> is, <laughs> philanthropy. Yep, yep. Someone philanthropy. Someone that does great things for philanthropy, because that's what it's about. It's about raising yes. money, celebrities getting out there and doing things. You know, selling hot dogs in Times Square. Yes. Yeah. Someone that does great stuff like that. Life. I think that. Yeah, great. Andrew, but I still want to get my life while watching it too, because that you're fired. Used to give me life every yes. single week. <laughs> yes. But I even. Crazy, you guys. Donald Trump put out this tweet, this tweet that said that uh, you know he wouldn't be able to be a part of Apprentice. That he apologizes to the fans yeah. because you know he's so, he's so busy uh, running, for, running for president. But that's not true, guys. He was fired by NBC. Yeah, he was. So it's not that you're too busy. Man, that's what you, you know what, though. You can one thing about Donald Trump. He gonna always turn it around in his favor. That's why The Apprentice worked. For him, yes. so that's why this is going to be a challenge. No, he needs to keep it Arnold. real. You didn't choose not to be a part of the Apprentice because you're busy running for president. You got fired. <laughs> How about that? Uh, it's time for a little more girl chat. Now you guys know that we like to keep it real with you. We keep it honest and straight up, and um, you know that also includes sharing the good as well as the hard times that we go through. But that's what makes us real, right, guys? Yep. Yes. And and. My prayer has always been that even in the not so great moments that you remind yourself that everything in life happens for a reason. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that um, hopefully it'll be to benefit somebody else, to help somebody else in their journey when they're going through hard times and that maybe somebody out there can relate and know that uh, they're not alone. Right. So I know that a lot of you guys have been asking me, whether it's been on Instagram, through social media, you know, where is your ring? Are you still engaged? And it's been a very hard decision for me to make. And, and the girls have known this, you know, they, uh, these are my true friends and my sisters and they've been with me through this journey. And I thank you guys for giving me my time and, and letting me figure it out in my time mm -hmm. and when I was ready. Um, but coming into season two, it's such a blessing to be back here. And I didn't want to, um, to come into it and put a dapper, a dapper, is that a damper, damper. Yeah, a damper <laughs> on our celebration of coming back for season two. I didn't want to, you know, bring down the morale because we're so blessed and so grateful. Right. Yes. And, um, you know, through this summer, I went on my little eat, pray, love journey, and it was a time for me to come to terms with my own truth and my honesty. And I am not engaged anymore. And we have, uh, we're in a good place. It's not an awe thing, I promise you. Uh, we maintain, you know, we are going to be great friends forever. And I think that um, it was a hard decision to make when you're with somebody for such a long time. I think as women, we have a hard time with change. Mm -hmm. It yeah. was hard for me. But you have to be true to yourself. You have to be honest with yourself. And I think having time on my own gave me that. Absolutely. Mm. Wow. So I just, I'm so grateful. I have girls that love me and support me. And we're going to be okay.
Yeah. Everybody's yeah. gonna be all right. Adrian, I just want to say. I am so happy you followed your heart. And Because there are a lot of women who sometimes don't follow their heart out of fear. Yeah. Yep. Or out of the, the fear of change. But you fought through it and you did it. My mom always said this, it's better to cry now than to cry later, later oh, and for got a very long life. time. Yeah. So I, I'm very proud of you Thank for just following your heart, even though it was a very tough decision. Girl, I was engaged in 1992, <laughs> 1999. 2004, it might have been 2005 too. So let me tell you something, you young, you gonna go through a lot of ups you know, and downs. I'm gonna be honest, it was, uh, to say it felt embarrassing. And why? Because why? Why? you feel like, um, uh, it feels like a, like, it feels a little like a failure, but you know that in the long run, it's, it's for the good. Does that make sense? Yeah, but in the moment you feel like, I'm, I'm jumping out the window because you just feel uh, scared. And I think it's a natural thing to be afraid, but um, I, I know that it's going to be okay. You know, Absolutely. and I know that I made the right decision, and I know that I want him to be happy. You've got your family, you've got your friends, yeah. and you make a decision. Marriage is nothing to play with. No, yeah. it's and not a lot easy. of people yeah. play with marriage. It's nothing to play with, especially mm -hmm. in the position that you're in, young lady. Yes. So remember what I told you. So you coming into yourself. I said, when you, you mm -hmm. get into them 30s, you become a woman. You are becoming a woman. You right. took that trip, you decided, and that's your personal yeah. business. And we don't have to talk about it anymore ever if you again. don't ever want to talk about it. Got it. Now, you all know, you all right there? <laughs> you guys all know these girls are playing too much over here because they love games, all right? We love games around here. So, check this out. We've got a brand new one with a whole lot of soul. Ew. Today, we're giving someone here the chance to walk off with $500, guys. It's a $500 gift card. And if you've got good aim, then you're a shoe in So, let's kick things off. It's time to play. Heel toss! Jeannie will each be paired up with a member of our studio audience. Each team will have 30 seconds to toss as many of these rings right here onto our giant wall of heels as they can. Check it out. Now, whichever team hooks the most rings wins a $500 gift card to Soul Society. Now, this is an online retailer for all things shoes, so you can get some heels of your own. Okay, oh, let's get this started. When I call your name, get to your feet. Playing on Team Tamar is Crystal Flores. Where you at? Tamar! Woo! Team Jeannie will be Elle Bond. Stand up! Get on down here, girls. Come on. Come on down. Great shoe. Where are you from? I'm from LA, born and raised. All yeah. right. Yeah. Are you good at aiming, Crystal? Good? Oh, yeah. No, I'm competitive, so it doesn't really oh, matter. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, well, you went the right yeah. person. All Just right, like Elle, where are you from? I'm from Chicago. Shout out. And are you good at playing games? Um, I like to win, so we'll see. So, All are right. you guys ready to do this? Very. Yes. <laughs> Team Tamar, you're up first. Get him okay. on. Gather uh -oh. your rings. So I'm thinking we put the rings on our arms like we were kids. Here we go, you guys. You guys ready? Almost? You got enough? Yeah. All right, let's go. put 30 seconds on the clock. Ready, set, toss! Come on, Tamar, you got this. All right, she got one already. She got it. Tamar, what are you doing? Tamar, what are you doing? You guys have a total of one, two, four rings. 
Team that Tamar, if Team Jeannie doesn't top that, you and Crystal will win the grand prize. She's gonna top that. Yeah. And Team Jeannie, if you want that spot in the winner's circle, you and Elle better bring on your A game. So take your marks, please. Yes, okay. come on now. Are y'all ready? We got this, yes, yes. All right, how are you guys gonna do this? You're gonna do the arm girl, technique or? Well, I'm thinking a little underhand, right? Yeah. Underhand. Right, babe? And Elle, Elle wants some shoes, so you're yeah, gonna get this, like right? Shoes. All right, okay. so let's okay, put another 30 it. seconds Four. on the clock. Okay, you got this. Don't Ready? cheat, Ready? Yes. Set, toss! <laughs> Taking home five hundred dollars. The gift card to Soul Society. Yes, you are, girl. Thank you. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you. All right. Sorry, Team Tamar. Sorry, girl. But you're not going home empty-handed. You are going home with an exclusive T-shirt from the Real. Right now, we have got something very fun and helpful. We are going to show you how to take five pounds off your face. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. I just had a baby this past summer, and after having a baby, you can't help but feel like there's leftover baby weight still like camping out, especially in my face. Right. So I'm <laughs> really excited to learn these face slimming tips. And here to help us out is makeup artist Jackie Ina. Please welcome Jackie. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Jackie. Hi. Hi. Thank you for being here. Now, you know what? When people think that they have a fuller face and you tell them, hey, I can slim it down, how do they feel about that? People are so shocked. I think sometimes we're so used to seeing these pictures of celebrities mm -hmm. and we're like, oh my God, did she get a nose job? Yeah. Did she get like chin implants? Don't they try it? They try it. I know. They really try it. <laughs> All the but time. But you would really be surprised makeup. with the witchcraft you can yes, do with honey. makeup. A little yes. contouring yes. maybe? And yes. the wand. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yes. Okay, so Courtney wrote into the show telling us how she has a rounder face and wanted to learn how to slim it down. Take a look. Hey, ladies. How you doing? Okay, look, I got a quick makeup question for you queens of makeup um so i've always had these chubby cheeks of mine weight up way down it doesn't matter they don't go anywhere but i heard there are like a few tricks that i could use to use makeup to slim my face down a little bit so i was wondering if you all would help me out with this i greatly appreciate it and i thank you in advance <laughs> Cutest, trust me, I know about having chubby cheeks. We had Jackie slim down Courtney's face with some great makeup tips. So here's what she looked like before. Check it out. And here's how she looks now. Check it out. Wow. <laughs> wow. Seriously, Jackie, she looks amazing. Can oh, you tell us what you did? did that. Wow. Tell us what you did. So, Courtney pretty much told us that she feels like she has a rounder face. So, essentially, let's just define what contouring is. We're right. basically working with the shadows to make things that recede look like they're receding even more, like the okay. fish face. So, basically, what I did is I started off by taking a darker foundation that's a couple shades darker than her skin tone. And what you wanna do is you wanna pretty much hit like the perimeter of the face. Okay. The easiest trick that you can do if you don't know how to contour properly is what I like to do is turn the face to the side and I like to draw the number three. Start at the top oh. of the forehead, round the cheekbone, round that jawline. Oh, that's oh. a good trick. And it's the easiest foolproof for any face shape. Yeah, so now that you've contoured her face, what's next? 
So after I've contoured, we're trying to make the face look more slimmer, right? Mm. So the next key thing is highlighting. So what I did was now I'm taking a concealer that's a little bit lighter than Courtney's skin tone. Yeah. And I'm working in kind of like a triangle shape. So I start at the innermost corner of her eye. Uh -huh. okay. I work down to the corner of the nose. But the key tip here is taking that concealer and dragging it up towards the corner of the eye. Now, the higher you go up, the more lifting it's gonna yeah. give, and it's gonna be kind of like that so smart. facelift. Ooh, yes. yes, that's it's that wand, like honey. That's, that's, yeah. the, that's, that's the, the sorcery. That's the final tip. That's the final tip to make it look slimmer. I have one more. Which is so with brows, this one I actually learned the hard way because I already have a narrow slim face. Uh -huh. So I noticed that whenever I would try to make my brows look too arched, mm -hmm. it would just look too harsh in my face shape. Mm -hmm. yeah. So with Courtney, she has quite the opposite. Her her face is a little bit more round. So I find that anytime you arch the brow a bit more, right. it kind of like lifts mm. the face up a little bit and it just gives the illusion of a more narrow face. Slim, yeah. so sly. Nice. What would we do without Jackie? Right? Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Love it. Thank you. Recently, an incredible viral story caught our attention. An Air Force vet was on a desperate search for a little girl he once saved. They met in the aftermath of Katrina and have not seen each other since. Today, that's all about to change. But first, let's take a look back at the devastation that brought them together. We lost everything. House, clothes, job, car. Covered in water, many people were stranded. They needed rescuing, and our next guest did just that. Then Staff Sergeant Mike Maroney risked his life to save those who were trapped. But one rescue always stuck with him, and we can't wait to share his amazing story. Please help me welcome a real hero to our stage, Master Sergeant Mike Maroney. <laughs> Mike, thank you for coming here to The Real. You guys, this man, in the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina, saved over 140 people. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> now, tell anybody what a pararescue man is. So, uh, we are the Air Force's uh, search and rescue. Damn! <laughs> okay. <laughs> We do it all. all right. uh, combat, civilian, wow. uh, jungles, mountains, water, wow. oh my war. Gosh. You know, every, everywhere we're trained to do everything. Uh, you know, when people need help, yeah. that's where we're at. Thank God wow. for the pararescue. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to them. That is awesome. Nice. You are also a single father to two sons. Yes, so what do the boys think about their dad? Uh, oh. <laughs> so they look just like you, by the way. Oh, yes. Yeah. They're pretty proud. They. Um, yeah, they're... Oh, oh <laughs> all right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Why does that bring you emotion? Because um, I, I, I don't do this job for pride, or I don't do it. I'm not a hero. You know, I went to a funeral yesterday. Two of my friends were killed in Afghanistan a couple weeks ago. Oh, no. Oh, no. And those are real heroes. You know, the, the guys on the train in Paris that took down that guy, those are heroes. You know, I'm wow. just a guy that does my job. Oh, wow. wow. Now, so I know sweet. that things have also been rough for you because you recently got injured and then not able to work. So what happened? Well, over the year, it's, it's a rough life, you know, jumping out of airplanes and hitting the ground and, and picking up heavy loads, running up and down Afghan hills. Uh, so both my shoulders are torn. Uh, wow. I just got an artificial disc in my neck. No. I've got a TBI. Oh uh, I've got PTSD from too many bodies, unfortunately. Oh. Post-traumatic stress. Yes, ma'am. Right. So... Uh, it, it's not any one thing. It's just 19 years of a hard life will take its toll on you. Yeah. yeah. With everything that you've been through, out of everyone that you've rescued, 
one little girl has stuck with you. Please tell us about her. Well, um, <laughs> most of the time when I rescue people, they're unconscious, they're dying, so you don't really get to talk to them. And so, um, and I don't have any pictures of it myself and anybody, you know, I'm not taking selfies with people while we're working. Yeah, clearly. And so they just happened to snap a photo of this little girl who really, for me, made the day because it, it was a rough day. There was a lot going on. Yeah. It was seven days into Katrina. Um, earlier in July, I just gotten back from a deployment in Afghanistan. Wow. It wow. was my worst deployment. You know, nobody was, we didn't pick up anybody. Wow. And so to go into that and see New Orleans underwater and destroyed just really took a toll on me. And um, so when she gave me that hug, you know, I wasn't even on the planet at that point. Oh, wow. 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 Well, that picture's become photo. iconic, but you were never able to find that little girl. Tell us about your search for her. Well, uh, about the fifth year, I had the idea. I was like, ah, oh, you know, I'll put it on Facebook, see if anybody's mm -hmm. looking for her. Yeah. And I, I got 42 likes, nothing. <laughs> I'm like, oh. And, and up until last year, nobody ever, nothing. And really? uh, a young man named Andrew, took it up, wrote me an email and said, hey, it's my life's goal. I'm going to help you find this wow. little girl. Wow. And he blew it up on Instagram and hashtag. You know, young people, they know how to do that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Why are you looking at me when you say young people? Like, oh, all old folks, I got you. <laughs> now, Mike, you told us that you've been trying to find the little girl that you met during the Katrina rescue. And um, a photographer managed to capture the moment. And you didn't even know they were taking this wow. picture. No, ma'am didn't know at all. That hug and that smile, that's yeah. what got you? It, it meant a lot. Well, you know, that beautiful little girl, her name is Lachey Brown. She's now 13 years old. She's a straight-A student with dreams of becoming a lawyer. She has few memories of what happened that day, but she does know that Mike saved the lives of her and her family, and now the time has come for you to meet her. So, Mike, are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, all right. Come on out! You are so beautiful. Yes. Look how tall you've grown. I yeah. know. You're just as cute as you are in the picture. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. <laughs> I know the truth. A lot you of it. This is the man that rescued you and your family. How you feel? I feel good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mike, what's going through your mind right now? <laughs> <laughs> if, if I could explain to you how important your hug was, that's that, <clears throat> that small gesture that would. <laughs> it it helped me through bad days and dark days and I mean you have a beautiful smile and it stuck with me and it's helped me and 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 has meant a lot to me. So I'm 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 indebted to you. I you rescued me more than I rescued you. Oh, oh. I want to talk to that. <laughs> I am not sorry. Oh my goodness. Woo! <laughs> Lachey, is there anything you'd like to say? Yes. I just want to say thank you for saving me and my family. And I was just happy that that hug meant that much to you for you to actually look for me. Oh, my goodness. Lachey. Lachey, I know your family has been going through a rough time since Katrina. And I know your mom is in the audience here. Um, how are you guys doing? We're doing a, a little good, but things are, st uh, things are still kind of hard. Like, my mama, she's having a difficult time finding jobs. She walks to work, and we just, it's just not as good as it used to be. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Uh, this is life, y'all. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And it was just a difficult time. Katrina was a difficult time. So New cool. Orleans and the entire nation. And we heard your story and we wanted to do something nice for the both of you. Yes. Because both of you guys are heroes to us in our absolutely. eyes. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. So, Lachey. <laughs> Here at The Real, we want to help. We want to help you guys. Lachey, we know that it's been a hard time for you and your family. So, 
we're giving you and your family $10,000. <laughs> it's yours, Michelle. <laughs> and Mike, I don't know who told you that you are not a hero, but to us, you are a true American hero. Thank Absolutely. you so much for risking your life, for rescuing everyone that needs to be rescued, and just giving yourself freely and openly, and just doing everything you do. You're definitely a hero. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And for that, for your commitment, and your hard work, we have something special for you also. We have a check for $10,000 as well. <laughs>